Watch this. YouTube link, copy, paste, click run, copy as text, press generate. All right, so it started writing the script. Interesting. Copy it, go to NA10, paste, and this is it. The workflow is ready. Let me show you exactly how to copy any NA10 workflow from any YouTube tutorial in under 10 minutes without manually rebuilding the entire flow. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I'm Puff. Six months ago, all my time was taken by admin work. Today, it's all automated. I help solopreneurs, agencies to do the same with NA10. So let's automate together. All right, before we dive in, you need Cloud Pro for this, not the free version. We need two specific features here. Projects, which is located over here, and the Opus 4.1 model over here. So this is about 20 bucks per month, and honestly, you're gonna save that in the first workflow you're gonna copy. So we'll need all projects with NA10 documentation, prompt guidelines, and an example of a working agent, JSON file. So I'll attach all the files and prompts needed in the description below. All right, and the first thing we need to check is whether we are using the right plan. So all we need to do, we go to cloud.ai. So once you click on your initial in the bottom left corner, just press on upgrade plan and you'll need to select the pro plan. So I'm currently on pro plan myself. So we are good here. And the next thing we need to do, we need to click on projects uh, over here. So I'm going to give a simple name to my project, something like my NA10 project, press create. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to add a compiled NA10 documentation. So let's do that. I've got a list of files we'll need for this project. So just drag and drop. So this is over 50 pages of NA10 official docs condensed into a single file. So without this documentation, Cloud builds broken workflows almost every time. So also we'll need to add the system prompt for our project. That's going to be this one, this document over here. Paste this prompt under the instructions field and later we'll need to add one more sentence. So save instructions. So by the way, this method was inspired by Nolan Harper and Cowan from AI Content Systems. Uh, they are automation legends in my opinion, so links of their channels below. To save us time, we'll use some pre-prepared docs and prompts uh, which have been kindly summarized by these two legends and made publicly available for us. So the third thing we need to do here is actually um, add a working agent uh, in the JSON format. So this fixes like 90% of issues so if you already have some NA10 working agents or automation flows, what you can do, you can just grab a couple of them, click on these three dots over here, download and save it in a specific location you want to. So then what we'll need to do, you'll need to go to your cloud project and add this working agent or flow. Ideally, you would need three to five different examples. So the more variety, the better cloud understands the patterns. So let's add some agents. All right, so we have our instructions, we have our working agents and the NA10 documentation. So what we'll need to do next, we're going to go to AIStudioGoogle.com. Just sign in with your uh, Gmail account, press on a new chat, select Gemini 2.5 Pro model, which is the most advanced model Google has right now paste this exact prompt. By the way, all the prompts and documents you'll need you'll find in the description below. Open this prompt, copy it, go back to Google Studio, paste it. So essentially what we do here is we are giving the instructions by saying the following. So you are an expert in analyzing NA10 workflows and generating comprehensive prompts. Following the NA10 workflow prompt framework and guidelines document precisely. So what we need here, we need this NA10 workflow prompt framework and guidelines document. So let's attach that. So the next thing we need to do is to find a YouTube tutorial we would like to replicate. So I found one actually. So this one is coming from a guy called Leon Van Zyl. So thank you Leon for providing such a nice tutorial. What we're gonna do, we're gonna copy the YouTube URL and now we're gonna go back to Google AI Studio and paste it here. As I already mentioned, don't forget to attach the NA10 workflow prompt framework and guidelines here as well. What's really cool here is that we are having Gemini watch the entire video and understand our cloud guidelines simultaneously. So it's like having an expert translator between the YouTube video 
and the NA10 JSON format. So just a quick recap what we've done in Google Studio. So we've inserted the prompt, copied the YouTube link we are interested in, so this YouTube URL, went back to Google AI Studio, so attached NA10 workflow prompt framework and guidelines document as well as the YouTube URL, and uh, then all we did, uh, we just press run. So essentially what it does, this generates a specialized instruction that tells Claude exactly what to build. So we just need to wait a bit uh, in Google AI Studio and see uh, what our prompt will be like. It's already creating the instructions for Claude, which is brilliant. So uh, our prompt has been just generated uh, in Google uh, Studio. So I wouldn't recommend you to highlight and um, copy it like this. So instead, what I would recommend you to do is to click on these uh, three dots, copy as text, and head back to Clot now. So in Clot, just paste it in your chat, uh, in the same project, of course. Just don't forget to change the model from Sonnet 4.5 to Opus 4.1. So Opus is more advanced model, and you're gonna get much better results if you use the Opus uh, model instead. So we've got our prompt ready. We've got the documentation uploaded to our uh, project. We also have the instructions and the agents. However, there's one more thing outstanding. So if you press go right now, it's going to generate the JSON file. But most often, there will be some issues when it comes to the connecting the nodes or even generating the flow, because Claude still needs to see some examples. So even though we attach the workflows or agent examples, we still need to specify in our instructions prompt or system prompt what these exact agents or flows need to be used in our project. So let's do that. We're going to go to the very bottom of our system prompt. Let's add an additional sentence at the end. Uh, when creating any 10 agents, you may connect tools, nodes using the pattern shown in, and then you just need to specify the names of our agent. And now we can just save the instructions. Let's press generate. What's happening now, it's generating the JSON file for us. We can just copy this JSON by clicking on copy. So what we did so far, we generated the JSON file using Claude. And the next thing and the last thing I would say we need is to copy this JSON file into NA10. So head over to NA10, create a new workflow, simply paste the output we just copied from Claude. And here we are. The general flow of the uh, process and the core structure, including the nodes and connections, is pretty much there. There is an issue with Gmail trigger. We can quickly troubleshoot that, and it's super easy to do. If you have any issues around the building the flow or replicating it, you can communicate with Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is kind of built in into Google AI Studio, and uh, start from there. So I just asked Gemini, tell me at what minute the Gmail trigger has been discussed and just gave me an answer that has been discussed at 1 minute 15 seconds. So let's let's double check that. So we're going to go to this video and check if it's the case. So we can see it's actually been timestamped, which is super useful. OK, so all we need to do here is we need to um, select on message received. So let's go back to our NA10 workflow. And here I'm going to select Gmail trigger, Gmail triggers on message received. OK. So here, all you need to do is to select your Gmail account. If you haven't done so, you can set it up. Another difference I've just noticed is that instead of using the edit fields, we have code. If you're not happy about that, so you go back to Gemini, ask uh, about edit fields. Again, go back to video. So the rest is just quite easy to fix. So after checking with Gemini, I went to the video again and uh, realized that actually this node is not 100% right. We actually need here message model. So let's do that. Everything is connected. Select the model we need. So it's going to be for O mini. Then we need to provide some instructions. I won't bore you with that. Now we need to connect those and, of course, authenticate uh, the remaining nodes. That was pretty much it with the troubleshooting. Select uh, the base. Here we are. All we need to do is to select draft, respond by using an expression. And we have the message as well. So the message should be this. Um, so once we have a sponsorship related email in our inbox, an agent picks it up, drafts a response, and then it's up for us to go there and send it manually. If you trust the agent, instead of using draft, 
you can use message and this email will be automatically sent to the person uh, or the sponsor potential sponsor so let's see if it's working so let's compose an email i'm about to send recipient is going to be myself so the subject line will be something like exciting sponsorship opportunity for youtube channel and then we're going to send it so let's see it here so under my other inbox i should get it yes i've got an email just came through and now what we're going to do we're going to run our agent and we can see it's running which is cool okay so so let's go back to my email go to drafts so the top message is actually the sponsorship offer from this person called martin solberg and we can see that this uh, email has been drafted uh, automatically by the agent which is impressive so by the way all this information is not true so we've just learned how to turn any na10 youtube tutorial into a working json in minutes instead of hours so if you are serious about growing your business saving time and money using automation then you are welcome to join my school community where we share working templates and troubleshoot together. So if you want plug and play workflows and direct support, link is below. And if you need something else built for you, you can book a free strategy call with me, link in the description below. Also, don't forget to grab the cloud project files and templates below. So you've got everything you need to set it up today. Try it with any NA10 automation you want. If you found this video useful, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.